I would put it into there's lifestyle factors and then there's medication. Okay. Uh, so, so some of this we've discussed before, um, but from a medication point of view, we'd be doing medications to stop the stickiness of the blood. If it's a clot, it's due to the blood being too sticky. So we've traditionally been using aspirin, but now we've moved more to a medication called clopidogrel, very similar, thought to be slightly more effective at presenting stroke in certain patients. Then statins, there's been a lot of press about statins. They're the most widely prescribed medication in the UK at the moment. But actually this is the one of the scenarios where they're thought to be very, very effective at reducing risk of stroke. And that's independent of some people's cholesterol levels. So even patients with <coughs> what we think might be a relatively normal looking cholesterol, we may put on statins, especially if they show signs of furring of their blood vessels. And finally, it's treating other things like blood pressure. We typically target a blood pressure of the top number 130 and the bottom number 80. And we very aggressively treat high blood sugars, the condition of diabetes. Lifestyle factors, it's always an opportunity to look at your lifestyle as well. Am I doing enough exercise? What's my alcohol intake? What's my stress in my life? Am I sleeping well? And these things we know have, a, you know, have an important interplay and um, are important for outcome later on following TIAs and strokes.